Hi there, welcome back to another episode of Jana Eats, the gluten and casein free show, but it's food for all. Everybody will love this. This is a delicious drink that's non-alcoholic, but certainly it would go great with tequila, vodka, or gin. So just with that being said, boom. So we're gonna start with uh, watermelon, and I'm gonna show you how I cut a watermelon. Uh, so I cut off both ends, and I do that so that I have a stable surface to take the rest of the skin off. And then I take my knife, and I just run it in a curved fashion, following the lines of the luscious little orb of summer goodness called a watermelon. So I'm just going to trim this up. The other thing is someday I'm going to make um, watermelon rind pickles, I swear, in all my spare time. So this little, you, I'll hold it next to my head so you can see how big it is. This is actually just about the most, the perfect size for this. And you need about four cups of diced watermelon and I just cut it up. The blender will do most of the work, so, you know, have at it. Don't have to spend too much time futzing about with this. So in goes the watermelon and then I have local strawberries. I, I'm filming here in Maui. I also work in San Diego. There's lots of strawberries there too. And uh, if you're not in either of those locales, strawberries are readily available at most markets. I do urge you to purchase organic uh, strawberries or ones that have been grown without pesticides. They are a heavily sprayed crop. So in, in you go. So we're gonna blend this until it's smooth. You gotta start it. Love me a Vitamix, you know that, people. There we go, okay. I also like to blow up Blendtex, you know that too. Okay, now I'm gonna get a strainer, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So, after looking at what little was left in my strainer after straining the watermelon juice or half of the pitcher, I decided you don't need to strain this. Just leave all the fiber and the goodness in there. It's good for your system, keeps you regular. So we're just gonna put this back into the blender. Uh, I don't have any lime, so I'm using lemon. It's perfectly fine. I'm doing half of a lemon. Woo! You see that? Two tablespoons. Okay, let's talk about swoon. Swoon is a zero calorie, no funk, like no aspartame or stuff like that. Sugar-free, simple syrup. And I love it. There's no weird aftertaste, nothing. So this recipe calls for agave, but I'm going to use, I'm gonna use me some swoon. I'm gonna do three tablespoons of swoon. And we'll blend it one more time just to let all those, the lemon juice and the swoon get to know itself. That ought to be good. Let me quality control check this. Ooh. Mm. You're gonna love it. Really good. Okay, so uh, we're gonna fill a couple glasses with ice, maybe half full. And then I'm gonna put the juice in the glass. And I'm gonna top it off with a chilled bubbly water. I really like San Pellegrino. It's got good minerals in it, good for your cellular function. In you go. Now, the other thing I was thinking that would be really good with this would be, would be a, one of these flavored, like this cucumber melon, 
I think would be great with this. There's also Waterloo brand makes a watermelon bubbly too. And then I know bubbly water makes a strawberry. So any anything with kind of a similar flavor profile would really work well with this. So with that said, garnish. Oh, doesn't that look nice? Anyway. And that was it, my friend. And you can make this for the kids and put a shot of Tito's vodka in it for you. Or better yet, tequila. Mmm. Perfect. Come back and see me next time for another gluten and dairy free video recipe. And while you're at it, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Watch, like, comment. I answer back. I'll see you next time with another great video from Jana Eats. Thanks for tuning in.